Jim will start off with a, a tough a tough night on the road. Yeah, um, and a deserved loss, um, Ash, definitely. I thought, first and foremost, we weren't good. We weren't what I would... We weren't what we expect to be. We didn't do what we expect to do uh, in terms of our quality with the ball. And, yeah, I just, I just think we were poor all night. Um, and, to be honest, I think... Uh, we are fortunate to go in at 1-0, definitely at half-time, even though we had three amazing chances in the first half and we continue to have a few chances in the second half as well. But I actually don't think our performance warranted us having any chances tonight. So I can be disappointed that we didn't score because the chances were good, but I don't feel like we deserved anything from the game. Um, so as much as, as much as I you know, stand here wishing that all of our chances would have went in and we would have scored four goals because we couldn't have scored four goals with our chances. Barnett could, could have scored double um, whatever we would have scored tonight because they had that much pressure around our box. There was that much um, coming our way and long throws and balls inside our box over and over again. Um, it was a really tough night for us and I thought that whenever we did get the ball back and have our time, we just we weren't good enough. We as a collective, weren't what we expect of ourselves tonight. Did that goal sort of on the first minute mark sort of set the tone for the evening? It definitely did. Um, and, you know, the captain being the way he is, instantly puts his hand up, you know, and, and wants to apologise to the changing room before he even allows me to say anything. Um, that's the kind of man he is. And, you know, those are the kind of characters we want in the team. People that um, ultimately... Uh, have humility and I'm just accountable for when they make mistakes because we can all make mistakes out there. I made loads of them. Um, sometimes in the first minute also, sometimes for Rochdale. And Ebanks, I thought, from that moment on, gave everything to keep the ball out of his net. He must have headed a thousand balls you know, from right under his crossbar. Um, excuse the exaggeration, but it, it felt that way. Um, outside of his, his error there, that I think you know his out-possession performance was... Really, really, um, really, really manful um, for the team, and the others were as well. The way the way the lads defended inside our 18-yard box and on the goal line, the scramble and all that, it 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 left a you know um, a good feeling in terms of how much they're willing to fight. Um, and we were hopeless with the ball. Every time we got the ball back, we were hopeless. So again, if we'd have give up. Um, it could have been disastrous. It could have been disastrous, but because they fought so much to keep the ball out the net, it was only a 2 0 score tonight. And um, yeah, Barnett deserved to win, no doubt. I think you've given an honest assessment on the game, and I know before we just spoke there, you touched on the fans and 129 of them travelling on the road today to see your team. How, how good was that? I, I mentioned it in my uh, team talk with the team there because I know they acknowledge it as well. I think. Um, going to see our fans tonight after like being so poor with the ball and I'm almost putting aside that we had such good chances to score because I don't know how we did with such a poor performance with what we expect of ourselves but um, I know we could have scored and gave the fans um, you know, um, an unexpected point or win on the road uh, against the run of play and maybe they were appreciative of maybe just that but I said to the, uh, to the players there, just huge acknowledgement goes to our fans tonight. The way they almost give us a stand innovation after a 2-0 loss away on a Tuesday night. I'm, I'm sure they've had a long trip down here like we did today also. Um, which, yeah, I don't know that's a factor in our performance. Um, the fact that we came down on the day, we've never really done that before. Um, we've done that once this season at Boreham Wood. It is a really long day. It, it really is and you hope that it doesn't affect the early part of your performance maybe today it did but the fans need acknowledgement because they also made that long journey down today and to stay till the end like they did and to give us the support that they did at the end I just said to the players that's a magnificent sign that is a really magnificent sign and I do feel that there's a vibe about our club now there's a vibe in our home games that we can really thrive off, we can bounce off, you know. Um, our last home performance was a brilliant one. The fans uh, appreciate it and connect with us. And I feel like all energy now just goes into Saturday and, and, you know, a great home game. Just to touch on two of the lads involved tonight, 
when we announced teams, Finley Armstrong was announced that he's going to be with us now till the final game of the season. Luke Mather making his debut off the bench as well. Performance aside, how, how pleasing are those two things? Um, Sam Mather. Sam Mather, yeah. Yeah, Sam Mather. Um, Finley signing is, is, is great news um, for the squad. I think um gives us uh, another good player that plays there. and I think he played well tonight. Um, Sam... As I explained uh, to the fans recently at the fans forum, um, we won't have that loan on our terms and we won't fully get to utilise Sam or the other Sam, Sam Murray, um, just whenever we want to freely. But uh, we had we had the two Sams this week, Sam Mather on the bench, I thought I was looking forward to the prospect of including them in one of our squads. And it, it comes at a time when we desperately need it, to be honest. Um, with Damani Meller out, you know, medium term, Tyree Sinclair, um, actually got a great two tear in his ankle. Uh, we had that scanned this week, so he's now out medium term. And Devante Rodney, um, upon medical advice, we're, we're unable to use uh, at the moment. And what we're, that's a that's a day by day situation. So out of nowhere, what was looking like a, a reasonably complemented squad suddenly looked thin again. Um, so to complement that squad with with Sam Mather and. Finley um, extend to the end of the season that's that's good news for us Ash and just a final point touching on Saturday we're back home after sort of two long away games a chance to sort of maybe turn our fortunes around having that next opportunity and that next moment to look forward to how important is that for the squad now building in towards Saturday perfectly put Ash uh, very important very important and a great opportunity every single game is and I really thought we could win tonight I really did I thought we could win the last game uh, I do Within this league, I um, think we can win every game. I truly believe we could beat Chesterfield away. I truly believe we could beat Barney, like we did at home. Uh, I think we can turn that performance in against anyone. It's just us. It's literally about us. And us, as a collective, um, we weren't there tonight. We weren't there. So we deserve to lose. But um, we need to just take our energy back to the training ground and bring it to our home game Saturday. I think... Um, us, the fans, all as one inside the Crown Oil. Come Saturday, exciting day, exciting game. It could be brilliant.